Hey everybody, it's me Richard with Real Men Craft 2. So it is Saturday, uh, March. Hey Google, what's today's date? It's Saturday, March 16th, 2024. Saturday, March 16th, 2024. Come right back after the intro. I got a Mickey to show you. Well, he's almost done. And I got to show you this dragon. Hey everybody, so here's the Mickey Mouse painting. Yeah, he's almost done, can you believe it? Yeah, he's almost done. I just have this little tiny bit right here, about maybe five inches to go. And yeah, he is done. It's a 50 by 100. And it is going in this color of a blue or this color of a blue frame, I'm not sure yet. I love it. I absolutely love him. I think he turned out so great. The sparkles in this painting, I can't get him to show up on the camera. I guess I could if I turned on the flash. Let me try putting the flash on. Now I got the flash on. Yeah, so the sparkles in this painting are absolutely beautiful. No pun intended. Yeah, the sparkles in him are just amazing. I love it. I absolutely love this painting. Yep. He is going in the Disney room. And yeah, he's going up above. The, he's going above um, the width wise of the closet. So he's going to go this way above the closet. Yeah, that is my M&M, my Mickey Mouse for March, everybody. We're gonna go back to the table. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Richard, with Real Men Craft 2. Happy Saturday, everybody. So, yes, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the shirt buttoned up just so you can see the dragon. I will unbutton it in just a minute because it's kind of, I don't wear my shirts buttoned up like this unless I'm wearing a tie, but I wouldn't wear a tie with this one. So here is the dragon's den. I love the colors in this shirt. So, it does go all the way around. Yep. <laughs> I love this shirt. Uh, I have ordered some more. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I told you, I have ordered some more. I love uh, cool printed clothes. Um, so what did you guys think of the uh, 100 Years of Mickey Mouse? I absolutely love him. He's he's almost done. Yeah, Joanna and Tammy. Um, it's not a big dumb cup, but it is a Starbucks cup. And I do love the rainbow colors in this uh, AB mug. This thing is like a weapon. Yeah. And uh, it probably cost, they probably cost as much as weapons. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're not cheap. I have my Maleficent and her dragon pendant on today. <laughs> yeah, I'm in kind of a dragon mood. So, uh, hopefully you guys are all having a great Saturday or Sunday for people who are already into sun to Sunday. Um, 
of course I have the hiccups. I had to get the hiccups right when I started filming. So, uh, wow, March is almost over, over everybody. Can you believe it? Um, I can't believe the colors in this shirt. I love this purple dragon. I love this purple dragon. Um, yeah, and so many of you, so many of you have said, Richard, where did you get those shirts? I got these shirts at Light in the Box, L-I-G-H-T in the Box. Uh, I'm not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor of mine. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid for this. I just love to tell everybody where I got these shirts. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to try to do a whip and chat, but I know I get sidetracked when I start talking. So uh, first off, um, I'm going to throw my glasses on really quick because I'm going to welcome some new subscribers to the channel. Yes, it's time for a haircut again already. I can't believe it. So, um, new subscribers in no particular order. Let's welcome to Real Men Craft 2. Uh, I just got done bleaching my teeth, so my teeth are kind of sensitive right now. Um, let's welcome in no particular order. Let's welcome Christy0440, Jackie Stops, Terry Ann Rays, Jared Boys, Ali Franklin, Tommy Yuzo, and yes, Tommy lives in uh, Japan, and she has been following me since the beginning. She's also uh, a big follower of my horror YouTube channel, uh, Nightmares Anyone. <laughs> she loves to be scared. She loves horror. Uh, Mary Reynolds, Susie Ball, and Frankie's uh, Frank's Girls Six, and Susie Ball um, just went through melanoma. Uh, so Susie, my wishes and prayers are with you for a quick and speedy recovery. Uh, yes, we did talk yesterday on the phone and, uh, you told me that they got it all. So that's a good thing. Um, hers is on her chest. And, um, the funny thing is not funny thing is, but everybody, she is a black woman. So she wanted to tell me, she said, Richard, please just stress to everybody that it can happen to anyone. It does not matter the color of your skin. Uh, cancer does not care. Cancer does not discriminate. Wear sunscreen, everybody. It's so quick and easy to apply nowadays. And make sure your kids, grandkids, and great grandkids have uh, sunscreen on. It doesn't matter if they're out in 75 degree weather or 110 degree weather or even 60 degree weather. Cancer does not discriminate. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't voice it enough, everybody. Just wear your sunscreen. Put on sunscreen. Um, so, yeah, I want to welcome all those people to the channel. Um, I'm going to pop up some more finished uh, canvas pictures here. Um, first off, we are going to pop up... Um, I'm in love with this painting. Okay, this is Diamond Painting with Jack. We all know who Jack is. If you don't... Go see Jack over at Diamond Painting with Jack. Subscribe to her channel. Show Jack some love. This is Jack's Marilyn Monroe, and she's blowing a bubble in bubble gum. Yes, I love this picture. I love this picture. So here is Jack's Marilyn Monroe blowing bubble, blowing a, yeah, a big, huge, probably hubba bubba bubble gum. No, I don't think they had hubba bubba when uh, Marilyn was still alive. But there's, there's three um, of the legendary Hollywood icons blowing bubbles. There's this one, there's uh, um, Catherine Hepburn, and then there is also Anne Margaret. And the one of Anne Margaret is absolutely stunning with her red hair and that hot pink bubble gum. I've only seen it at one, one company. It was available with uh, Peggy Buy. And uh, when I went to reorder it, they were out of stock. So uh, yes, I do. I want the. I want the. Um, I want all three of them actually. And I. I, I tried to order them in a uh, forty-five by sixty-five, and they're just out of them. So um, I don't need them right now. I'm not in a big hurry. They will come back in stock. And then uh, yeah, so that's diamond painting with Jacks Marilyn blowing a bubble. <clears throat> This is Bianca Henning's Magical Mickey. He is done. And uh, this picture's kind of hazy a little bit. She did send it to me in an email and she said, Richard, my camera is shite. 
and I know what shite is. Uh, my my ex brother in law was from uh, um, Manchester, so I know shite means poopy. Uh, <laughs> but but I have shown you other pictures of her working on it, and the sparkle in this Mickey is beautiful. I could just imagine how pretty this is in real person in real life with those uh, those zooming. Uh, uh, stars going by him. Um, this is Too Hot for Pink. This is Gina G's um, Merry Melody. Yes, this is, uh, I think it's uh, Hello Kitty's cousin. Her name is Melody. But yeah, Melody's, uh, they're eating a strawberry sundae with the ice cream, the whole bit. So uh, Gina G, Too Hot for Pink. Cute picture, she did turn out great. She turned out cute. Uh, here's Kathy Schmader's macaw is uh, finished. This bird is beautiful. And uh, Chris, uh, Christopher over at uh, Christopher Colossa. I think, I think Christopher has a bird. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but um, yeah, Christopher, this, this painting is beautiful. The colors in her macaw turned out gorgeous. So that's Kathy Schmader's macaw. Here's Angela, um, her her Medusa. Yes, this Medusa I think is only like a thirty by forty or a forty a forty by fifty, but it's not very big. But for the size, I'm impressed with the colors. The colors in that turned out gorgeous. And then here is Marla Morris's uh, mask self portrait right here. I love that you can see Marla's eyelashes in this. I love this. And the blues in that um, medical mask she's wearing, you just know they are sparkling to, to yeah, to the brightest of blue. Um, so I'm gonna show you, show you all the uh, gown of the day. This stunner is, uh, oh my God. I could just see this walking through Central Park right now in the springtime. And yes, um, we know um, some of you live in New York. You're lucky enough to live in New York. Um, I'm not lucky enough to live <laughs> above Central Park like my dermatologist um, is, is going to be here. She is moving back to New York. She's... Um, graduating from medical school, so she's gonna live above Central Park um, in a brownstone that she has already got set up to live in. I'm so jealous, but I could just imagine this dress. Can you imagine this dress walking through Central Park? This thing is beautiful. I love the colors in this dress. I love the colors in this dress. Oh, Bruce and Zero just walked home from the park. Um, hi, Dad. Hi, Zero. So, um, yeah, everybody. Um, I was gonna pop around and we were gonna do a little whip and chat here, um, but uh, I, that means I would have to read, turn the camera all around and all that good stuff. But I did wanna share with everybody um, those five uh, finished M is for March um, entries into the Diamond Paint with Friends. Uh, once again, to Laura at Crafty Chef Diamond, congratulations on the 42 miles that you've ran already this month. I don't know how you do it. I couldn't do it. I don't even think I could run a mile. Um, yeah, I remember like I told you all one time, I think I was in like eighth or ninth grade and we had to run a mile, which was around our huge uh, school block at our junior high school. I think it was like two times around our, the huge block was a full mile. And I think it killed me, it killed me. And yeah, you'd think with uh, 40 inch legs that it wouldn't have been nothing to run, but um, yeah. So hopefully you all like the Dragon's Den shirt. I love it. Um, I love this shirt. I love the colors in this shirt. Um, and uh, who else did I wanna say? Um, oh yeah, so just a reminder to everybody, just wear your sunscreen. Um, it, you can get sunscreens now that smell really nice. You can get sunscreens that um, go on just with a spritz and a spray. Uh, it's just, um, it's nothing you want to hear your doctor say. You, it, you never want to hear your doctor say uh, you have skin cancer or you have melanoma or, uh, yeah, 
So these are coming out on Monday. So uh, yeah, I started putting bio, bio oil on it this morning. So uh, the scar uh, will fade and go away really, really quick. Um, if I could show you all the scar from my hip replacement, uh, thank God for bio oil. Uh, Bruce and I got turned on to bio oil. Oh my God, it must've been like 20 years ago. And um, I remember uh, we took his anti-flow around Sacramento. We went to every single Walgreens and CVS and I think his Auntie Flo bought every single bottle of bio oil she could find. I don't know where that bio oil went actually when Auntie Flo passed away. Um, I'm sure somebody in the family got all those. She must have had, no joke, 20 bottles. I think she had like 20 bottles of bio oil. But uh, yeah. So once again, you guys, it's a Saturday, March 15th, March 16th, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video. But um, man, you guys, summer's gonna be here pretty soon and then it's gonna be miserably hot. And uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Zero is, Zero loves the heat. Um, the cat's sitting over here at the end of the table. He is on my chair where I sit at my computer. Um, yeah, they slowly just take over the house. They take over everything. So uh, Bruce is getting ready to cook. So I'm gonna let all of you go. Uh, hopefully you liked the dragon shirt. Um, hopefully you liked my 100 years of Mickey Mouse. Yeah, I only have half of the last Mickey and he's done, the painting's done. And then uh, I'm gonna have to take it into Hobby Lobby and get it framed. I do wanna uh, put this, like I said, above the closet in the Disney room. So uh, it'll be perfect up there. Um, so once again, everybody, uh, somebody asked, just this morning, Richard, can you show us uh, how far you are on the new square? Here's the new um, Afghan square. Um, yeah, see, it matches this shirt perfect. <laughs> I mean, down to the colors, everything. And then you guys all know that this is the color of our Tesla. So yeah, it's pretty funny. This color, <laughs> this color is all over in my life. It's, it's funny. So um, once again, you guys see, I got into rambling and talking. Um, so, hey, I will, uh, uh, get back to finishing this Mickey. Oh, and I know what I was going to show you all. So, um, a bunch of you had asked if I had found, um, if, if, uh, the blades for my slice, um, ceramic cutter were available. Now, here's the funny thing. I tried to order them through Amazon, and for some stupid weird reason, we live in California, so Amazon said they couldn't send them to me for I don't know what reasons. I asked Bruce, Bruce, Bruce said probably because they were sharp or can, could be considered a weapon or something, but, so I went to Slice, Slice's actual website, and they were the exact same price, $19.99 for four of them, or one, for $12.99, so you do the math. Which are you gonna buy, one or four? So I ordered them right from slice.com and they came. And yeah, they come in this little tiny blister pack. And uh, these are the coolest things. This blade is so easy to replace. <laughs> now I can't get it open. Oh yeah, see you just pop open the blister pack. You take this little blade out. I gotta put my glasses on to do this. Oh my God, you guys, it's getting so bad. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, you just pop this little blade out. <laughs> if you have fingernails, it works better. And then uh, you just take this blade, you just screw this right out. Yeah. And then the new one. Screws right back in there. And there you go, I'm ready to cut up the world again. So uh, yeah, <laughs> they're great. So if you haven't got one of these yet, these ceramic cutters, um, like you guys have seen me use mine many, many times. Uh, I just cut, I, I use it to cut across my- uh, Did you tell them because if you use a real knife, you cut yourself? <laughs> yeah, Bruce said, did you tell everybody because if I use a real knife, I cut myself? So yeah, I had finger, <laughs> I had bandages 
on all of my fingers this week. I sliced open across my knuckle. I sliced this one first. Um, Bruce's knives, you guys all know that Bruce is uh, quite the, the chef and baker, but his knives are like razor blades. And um, yes, that's a good thing if you're gonna be a chef or a cook. You want a sharp knife, you, you will always hear that you know nothing is better in the kitchen than a good sharp knife. Well, sure enough, I reached into the, the, the drawer the other day, sliced open across this knuckle, so I have new skin on it today. And then the other morning I was <laughs> cutting up the dog and cat's treats, their budding lunch meat chicken, and sure enough, I went to grab, um, I think I was using Bruce's boning knife, <laughs> And uh, he was using it to debone a chicken the other night and uh, he was cutting up celery and it's pretty funny. I was making um, chicken salad and he was cutting up the celery with the boning knife and I'm like, did I dull that knife? And he's like, no, he said, this isn't meant for, uh, for um, vegetables, it's a, it's a deboning knife. Well, sure enough, I, so I grabbed that knife thinking, oh, you know, it's not gonna be that sharp. <laughs> Cut right into my finger. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why I have to use a ceramic blade cutter <laughs> because this, if you know, you can cut, slice, 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 and it never cuts your skin. So uh, yeah, if you have kids or grandkids, hey, get one of these, they work great. So take care you guys. Um, I'm gonna get to finishing this diamond painting and then um, yeah, so here's the Dragon's Den shirt. Yeah, I love this shirt, I love this shirt. And now you know why yeah, see, it matches. I could actually wear this. <laughs> no, I would never wear this. But I was just see, I could wear this as a shawl. I could crochet a shawl and then wear the no. I could I could wear it to uh hmm at the ballet. We could go no, I don't like the ballet. And um yeah, I wouldn't wear it to Best of Broadway either. That's a little bit too flamboyant for me. But um hmm yeah, love the colors. Take care, you guys. I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you do find yourself coming back to the uh, channel. Hit that subscribe button right there. Um, once again, uh, hope, you, hope you like the uh, gown of the day. Yeah, I love the colors in that gown. Um, it's like, wow. So Zero is waiting for peanut butter, so I do have to go. All right, you guys, take care. I'll see you later in the next video.